ladies and gentlemen, Sushi to Go presents Cracking Open a Cold One with the boys over Halo Infinite Gameplay. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cracking Open a Cold One uh, with the boys. We are the titular boys of Cracking Open a Cold One with the boys. I'm, that is purely fact. I will strike down anything that says titular boys on it. I, I, I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. <laughs> Don't. No, freak you. you, you in, in other you news, I'm no, sad. No, no. But yeah, that's just how I feel. And everyone knows uh, you have to act according to how you feel. There's, there's no... There's nothing like discipline or like consciousness or free will and free choice. It's it's just you act according to your emotions and circumstances, Nathan. So I suppose you're right. Welcome to reality. <laughs> Frick you. Uh, on the note of the uh, title, uh, what are we cracking open today? Uh, I don't have. Are you uh, cracking anything open? Uh, I don't have any cans of anything right now. Um, kind of kicked the uh, soda to the curb for now. Kind of Good. also kicked energy drinks to the curb as well. Uh, other than like just powder and stuff. Good. So I don't drink much other than just tea and coffee. So it's a bit difficult to crack things open. That's fair. That's fair. Are you are you drinking anything other uh, that even if you can't necessarily crack it open? Uh, not currently. I could make something real quick, but I'm not drinking. You could also currently. just get some water, but oh, disgusting! Hmm. <laughs> I live in America. I make just enough money to afford to never have to drink water if I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I, no, that that I get that. That's fair. I, for one, am cracking something open. No, not exactly cracking it, but um, I am drinking myself some whole chocolate milk. Yeah. So I well, yeah. Were we gonna discuss? We we had a few things we kind of were going to discuss. One of them being personal yeah. logos. And kind of why we are the characters that appear uh, on the like uh, title cards and the uh, YouTube uh, pictures of the videos that you click into. Yeah, which um, and and for reference, so yeah, so for sure, like Zach said, the um, um, the characters that are used for the thumbnails. Um, use the elements that we uh, um, created and put together for the actual logos themselves. Like we have actual like logos which you can actually see if you go back to our crawl video. Um, I used those for our um, um, to show like who was in control. Never actually went back and used those for anything else, which. Really should. If they, I mean, it, we haven't played though that many games where we have to swatch, uh, switch, um, um, switch perspectives. Yeah, swap. So back if there's ever play. a game that, yeah. So if there's ever like a multiplayer game that we play together and put out, um, Battlefront or something, where we're separate characters and I have to switch screens, that'll probably when be when that comes back out. But we just haven't really done that yet. Yeah, or, I mean, for a little while. At least. Yeah, for a little while. Ladies and gentlemen, this brief interlude is brought to you by Nathan's Chocolate Milk. It's everywhere. Um, yeah, uh, I, I was going over mine. Um, uh, yep, oh, so Gaelic yes. Crown. Yes. Um, from my uh, Irish heritage, and then I also just like the look of the uh, Celtic cross. Um, I mean, the dark forest green or like hunter green, it's also just nice. It reminds me of like evergreen trees or like dark pine trees and stuff like that. If I recall correctly, didn't we uh, model that uh, model your crown partially after uh, some Nordic um, crown as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely ancient. Uh, yeah. Did you look that up? Did you like see the... 
the find the one that I was using yeah. for reference. <laughs> yeah. Or like similar ones, yeah. Yeah. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Good stuff. Nice. Um, yeah. It came together into a, a, a pretty nice, um, a, a well proportioned um, um, logo, all things considered. So, yeah, that was really good. Um, the uh, My logo uh, is actually uh, fairly simple in terms of uh, what it means, in spite of it being, you know, a little bit, um, you know, kind of abstract and, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, mostly just being abstract. Um, I just wanted to create something creepy. <laughs> I'm not even joking, that was literally all the inspiration I had. And I was just like, eyes. Yes. Multiple eyes. You see, uh, one eye represents the, uh, person that, uh, public people see. And then the, uh, second eye is the person that friends see, and the, uh, third eye is the person uh, or the perspective through he himself sees uh, himself as. So it's really the, uh, is it dichotomy if it's, because that's two, it's the trichotomy of uh, perspectives on who he is as a person in this uh, universe and uh, his place in it. So he just has to find, uh, you know, the central shared point between all three to figure out who he is. I mean, I, I highly recommend finding out who you are as a person by just looking to people around you and uh, seeking self, uh, not self affirmation, but like af affirmation from others and maybe develop some really unhealthy habits like uh, uh, looking for likes on like Instagram when you post pictures of yourself. I think that's, that's a good modern American behavior to have to fit in, you know? True, true. Don't tempt me though. I'm, I'm, I'm like this close to just falling into unhealthy habits. Yeah, just thirst trapping is also a good oh, that, American that will, thing to do. I will never be. Yeah. I, I could never. That, I oh. literally could never. <laughs> oh, well. um, anyway, guys, I, I guess we're not launching the OnlyFans channel. So, <laughs> it's just in. Hey, look. It ain't thirst trapping if it's porn. <laughs> oh, you heard it here first. <laughs> mm. Oh, why do I say some things? I don't even. Yeesh. Where did that even come from? <laughs> Yeesh. Oh no, I'm sorry. I've never said anything offensive in my life. I'm, I'm putting <laughs> all all this blame is on Nathan. Well, I mean, for this it is. I no, that's fair. I mean, that's true. Um, yeah. oh, is it six? What is that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, editor's note, leave that in. No, no, editor's note, maybe take that out. At least editor's consider note, it. Editor's note, leave all of this in, including the editor's notes. I, maybe not all of the editor's notes, we'd, I mean, a little bit of restraint, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> So Zach, you were wanting to talk about um, some of our uh, music tastes. Yeah, yeah? I mean, I, I always find um, one of the most interesting questions I have for people um, is along the vein of like, what music do you listen mm -hmm. to? Uh, just because personally, I think music um, has always been like a large part of my life. I think it's um, kind of always something I have either playing in my head or uh, literally playing in like headphones or speaker it, it's just always kind of a constant in my life so I think it's interesting uh, to hear the uh, what in what form music uh, is present in other people's lives and how that kind of uh, affects how they see the world or just uh, kind of yeah it, it, it's just a representation or a reflection of how they uh, do things so interested to see yeah totally and kind of talk about how our musical genres uh, reflect us to some degree yeah for sure i'll also mention very similarly i um music is deeply ingrained in my life um like my dad is um uh, passed a lot of that down um 
uh, to me and, and some of the importance of music and stuff. Um, and very similarly, I, I constantly have at least some song playing in my head, though I also take my headphones literally everywhere. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm almost never without music. Um, so yeah, very important to me as well, and I, so I totally agree. I, I find it super interesting to see what people say about music now. Yeah. So with that said, uh, what musical genres, uh, do you lean towards? It doesn't necessarily have to be like favorite or anything, but kind of what is uh, kind of the normal everyday uh, stuff that you kind of listen to. Sure. Yeah. Um, since like very early 2020, maybe late 2019 or something. Um, since then, basically though, uh, uh, I have been deep, deep in the uh, um, the anti folk community um and the sad core community as well but um that that has been become like my entire world because i i finally found the music that i was craving i guess um so for me that has that has um led me to some of my favorite artists of all time um specifically uh, Wilbur Soot, which, yes, he's a, um, streamer and, and YouTuber, but his music is so good. Um, especially, and this is probably one of my favorite albums of all time, um, the album Your City Gave Me Asthma, uh, that he released in 2020. Um, so, so, his music especially, um, and then probably even more than that, uh, the band Crywank, um, who is almost like the cornerstone of modern um, anti-folk. But uh, so much of his music, uh, their music is is fantastic. But specifically, uh, either Tomorrow's New Year, Yesterday, and Everything Is Stupid in 2015. Which is just banger after banger, uh, and some of his uh, their most popular songs, um, or the uh, the album that they just released um, this year, actually called "Just Popping In to Say Hi," um, which is probably I would imagine going to be their last album because they were planning on breaking up. Um, in 2019, after a uh, after they finished their world tour, they were just gonna end it and and retire. Um, but then COVID, and so the tour got put on hiatus. Um, and they're they're actually starting it back up in 2021. So I'm desperately hoping that they come somewhere near where I am, <laughs> so that I can see them before they stop. Yeah. But anyway. So, uh, anti-folk is probably the biggest genre that I listen to, though it's a tiny genre, I guess, technically. I've also found some very comfortable homes in, in sort of like, um, some indie folk, indie rock, um, some soft rock, um, or soft slash pop rock, uh, which, um, mostly comes from a very dear friend of mine. Oh, and then probably some, like, almost, like, indie pop, basically. I don't, I don't know. But, like, my big thing is just I, I need songs that I uh, that are creative um, lyrically or musically. Um, I can't... I, I, I die inside <laughs> when I hear... Uh, when I'm listening to music that I, that I don't find creative um anyway that's that's a lot of my philosophy though on, on music and i'm always happy to elaborate on any of that but i don't think anybody wants me to at the moment so uh, so what about you zach what 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 are you, what are you listening to I, 
almost fall into well I definitely fall into a very different um, camp as we're a tribal people when it comes to music um, people are willing to throw hands at the sign of anyone dissing the artist they like uh, so in order to protect uh, myself and those around me uh, yes I do love Adele's album 30 that I have not listened to yet but I've heard raving reviews so <laughs> Uh, don't come against me or my, my loved ones. I've already professed my love for the album, so thank you. Uh, but yeah, uh, I actually I don't listen to mainstream pop, uh, although Adele's 30 is actually something. Uh, it's been definitely recommended to me enough times that I definitely need to take a look at it. Um, but I do listen to kind of subgenres of pop. Um, they're very bizarre and hyper specific which is what i find uh, with a lot of my tastes are also very small or very um hard to kind of figure out <laughs> even what to call them a lot of times which makes it hard to find but um there's definitely some hyper pop that i like i think there's um it's i was just talking about this before uh, there's there's a small sub sub genre uh, some people have been calling like hyper trap or um, a little bit more trap influence uh, pop, which is of a similar vein but not quite the same. I was discovering as I've been listening to more hyper pop and I uh, use the expression, it sounds like a lot of it is uh, glamorized noises from a white noise machine just because it's it's just it's very over the top. It's very uh, high pitched voices. It's very everything at once, which I can definitely enjoy some of the songs, but I definitely like it when it has more of a uh, trap beat, punching uh, bass line, and you got a lot more drums and stuff than just kind of that glitzy high sound to it, I guess. So I think I like that and a little bit more of like anti-pop where it can be um, very heartfelt and very uh, sad or deep songs, very emotional. Um, as opposed to just kind of like the very, uh, corporate, you know, very people-pleasing, happy pop songs, which I'm, I'm just not a big fan of. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of like those, but I, I think another thing uh, is, I mean, I'm always tempted to give the most white person response of, oh, I listen to a little bit of everything. I really, I don't. I listen to... <laughs> Um, I bounce between genres every once in a while when my uh, music uh, taste suddenly is looking for a little bit uh, different things. If I'm just having trouble finding new songs to add to playlists or things like that, I uh, go back and take a look at some of the older playlists I've listened to. And one of the recent ones I've been hopping back into is the wide world of electronic dance music. Um, and just some of those genres are, again, very, very specific, um, and I, I don't even know the names of some of them, but there's, oh, so, so much good mixed in with terrible, um, just because it, it's one of the things, um, that I like about electronic dance music, um, it can be easier to get into if you have a lot of talent producing, um, but maybe you're not so confident in like your singing voice or um, maybe you don't have the physical instruments but maybe you have uh, the hardware in order to produce some of these songs um, and be creative and uh, just kind of produce um, but I think uh, either just inexperienced people or uh, I mean it's hard to say but some some people just aren't as talented as some of the uh, kind of main people that a lot of us listen to yeah, I don't know. There's so much music being produced in some of these genres that it's just hard to find the good stuff um, and kind of give some bad reputations. But I think it's getting back into electronic music and finding a lot of these uh, new genres and name for genres uh, that I previously didn't really know about. It's been pretty interesting. So, yeah, I think recently um, in like those pop genres and subgenres and everything, I listened to a lot of Glaive, Eric Doa, um, I listen to Break-Ins, um, it's not quite in the same vein, but like Aries as well, I definitely like Aries, or 
uh, for just a very talented, occasionally anti-pop singer, Deb Never. I love her voice. She's very talented as well. Um, yeah, just a few of the people in some of those other genres. Cool. Well, just to to end the segment, do you want to... Is there anybody else, any, like, uh, let's say up to, like, four people or four artists that you want to shout out, uh, shout out, tell people to listen to? Oh, there's one. I don't even know what category they fit into, but I randomly found them on, like, a Discover Spotify um, playlist that was created for me. Uh, and that would be IC Blue, all caps. Um, very talented, very different. Like in his album Acoustmastic, it, it, it kind of uh, explains that music can sometimes be more of an experience um, than just a song you play on the radio. Um, and yeah, I think that album very well demonstrates that. It's very um, atmospheric, it's very uh, emotionally packed with different messages or different feelings that you're uh, kind of meant to feel as you kind of follow along. Of course, Hobo Johnson is one I've gone back to every once in a while. That was actually recommended to me uh, by Nathan. It's definitely one enjoy. Very emotional, very poetic. But, uh, uh, but yeah, I think those are kind of two of the main ones I definitely want to shout out there. Very cool. Well, um, aside from the ones that I've uh, that I mentioned earlier, obviously. Um, I would definitely suggest checking out um, Sun Kill Moon, um, and that is Kill with only one L. Um, his music is just gorgeous and um, incredibly well written. Um, the the band Shu, oh yeah, um, who have just super fun, uh, very interesting, uh, uh, just rock, I guess, almost a bit punk. Just good stuff, underrated for sure. Um, I'll also shout out um, Nicole Jaspers, uh, who um, has more of this, uh, uh, more of an acoustic folk um, sound. Uh, and then finally, I will just shout out our friend, our, our good friend, uh, Not a Common Chord, who uh, has done. Um, a lot of the art for us th uh, with his, um, you know, uh, you've seen some of it maybe posted to his uh, Not A Common Canvas uh, Instagram account. Um, so he he does both of those, but um, for Not A Common Chord, he's he's done some of the music for us here at Sushi To Go. And, um, if you hear any music, it's probably from him. Anyway, but he he's... Um, starting to put out some music he's doing it a little bit slowly but um, you could definitely check him out but a uh, very good friend of ours yeah yeah uh, and I think uh, just I guess I should shout out at least a few um, things that people should listen to in electronic uh, a few particularly good ones um, I think Kuro I hope I'm pronouncing their name right uh, but K-U-U-R-O, um, very good. He's done a little bit more of a darker tone um, to a lot of it. A few different styles he goes into, uh, as well as uh, a little bit more, I don't even know how to describe it. Some of them are very chill, I guess. Um, but again, a lot of different styles that he uses uh, is Bad Computer, spelled exactly the way it sounds, Bad Computer. Yeah, it's another good one. Cool. Bravo. That's dope. Um, awesome. Well, I think we will um, start wrapping things up here. Um, thank you for coming along with us on this journey, this episode. Uh, episode I don't like calling it an episode, but yeah, you know, whatever it is, is in this video. Um, just a reminder for everybody uh, listening and watching. Um, we have Thankmas coming up uh, very soon. Um, the campaign has been ongoing since, um, our last, uh, Kraken Open a Cold one, um, and will continue to go until it ends, which I don't remember when it ends, but it will end kind of soon, um, 
But this is uh, Jacksepticeye's uh, big charity um, thing that he does every year. Um, his overall goal, uh, just to remind you guys, is $10 million. Um, oh, and, and um, Thankmas, every, all the money donated to, for Thankmas goes to benefit New Story, which is a um, home fabrication, uh, fabrication um, organization. Um, super cool. Um, but if you don't want to donate specifically to, um, to Sean's, uh, main, uh, 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 main campaign and instead want to, um, donate with us, we have our own Thank Miss, uh, uh, sub campaign. All of the money that we raise goes directly to the, uh, main Thank Miss, uh, goal. Uh, of $10 million, but um, we have just a very small goal of $500, a, a modest goal of $500. Um, and we have lots of milestones um, that are uh, that you have the opportunity to hit uh, if you donate to our sub-campaign, um, which is the beauty of the sub-campaign. It lets us do some extra things that it's just for our community while still contributing um, to the main goal. Anyway, so go check out our link to see all of the milestones and to donate. Um, and here's a reminder, December 11th is Thankmas Day, uh, which means that we will have a Christmas theme themed gaming video coming out that day on uh, at 3 p.m. That is coming up very soon. That will be our main push for Thankmas. That, that video will be completely about Thankmas, completely for Thankmas, pushing you guys to donate. Um, so definitely go do that, though you're, uh, again, very, uh, you're absolutely free to donate before then as well. Um, definitely use hashtag Thankmas, though. Uh, if you're going to post anything about Thankmas, um, just spread the word, you know, and we will do the same. Um, and once again, the link for our sub campaign is in the description below. Um, so please, please donate. This is a great cause. Um, and I think you'll like some of the sub goals or the the milestones that we have attached to it so um that was not as quick as i was thinking it might be but it doesn't matter because this is important go donate if not to ours at least go donate to uh to jacksepticeyes um i'm a little bit uh out of breath after that so zach would you like to take us out uh, yeah, uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Um, yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, give a donation if you want to help out uh, those in need of uh, safe housing uh, in foreign countries here. Uh, but yeah, um, again, thanks for listening. Uh, have a great rest of your uh, be it night or day here. Uh, and try to make the world a little bit brighter in whatever way you can. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Sushi to Go. This is Richard Boss signing off. Good night. <laughs>